Are you guys wondering what that sign is? I'm here at the shops in Wildemar, California. In this video, I'm going to be taking you guys around Wildemar, California. I'm going to show you guys some different houses and in different price points and in different neighborhoods. And if you guys stick around to the end, I'm going to share with you guys a market recap of the current real estate market here in Wildemar, California. So let's get after it right now. Alright guys, if this is your first time to this channel and you want to know everything that there is about living, eating, breathing, playing in Wildemar, California, then subscribe below, tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about the current market here in Wildemar, California. My name is Jonathan. We get calls and emails every single day from people just like you looking to make their move and we absolutely love it. So whether you guys are moving in 9 days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email and we would love to help you guys make that smooth move to Wildemar, California. You guys, like I stated in the get-go, very beginning, I'm here at the shops in Wildemar, California. We're off of Clinton Keith, so this is one of the major roads that actually connects to Marietta, California, connects to the I-15 freeway, and all, I'm sorry, highway, and also the I-215 highway. So it's a pretty long stretch of a road, because it can go probably, I believe it's maybe 10 miles I may be exaggerating a little bit under that, but 10 miles all the way to the 215 leads you into the Costco, brand new Costco of Marietta. But we're not talking about Marietta. Wildemar, California is what we're talking about today and what it has to offer. And in this video, that's what I'm going to explain to you guys. So here in the shops, in the shops in Wildemar, you guys got a lot of stuff going on. You guys can see all behind me. There's a bunch of traffic. So here in this shopping center, you guys, we have the gas station, we have Valvoline, so if you guys need that instant oil change, you absolutely can get it. We have a little Mexican grill here called Tacos Tijuana. Freaking amazing, the pokey port there. You also got some wine and spirits grills. And across the street, let me cross the street, try not to get ran over, you guys. We have some fast food joints too. We have Taco Bell, Jersey Mike's, we have Dunkin' Donuts, Baskin Robbins. You guys have a whole lot of stuff going on here in this little vicinity of the shops in Wildemar, California. What's even better is across the street here of Clayton Keith, we also have Bear Creek Village. It's another shopping center. And there they, they have a Stater Bros, Chase Bank, and some other cool little knickknack stores. I say knickknack, even though they're not little knickknack stores. At any rate, you guys have a whole lot of stuff going on. Now, a little bit about Wildemar, you guys. It does have a population of a little over 36,000 people and growing. They are a smaller community, but it's still a really great community, quiet community. It's kind of unique in a way, in a sense that Wildemar, you guys, it's very diverse. It's very, I can say it's a very residential type of community, but as well, kind of rural. And they have a lot of homes that are track homes they have a lot of homes that are horse zoned or farmland types of home because back in the day that's what Wildemar was and transitioning today they've been trying to make it more modern so it's a little bit of mixture of both and that's why it's very very unique I personally I love Wildemar because of that aspect is it does have a lot to offer and it is very diverse in that sense and they are including and adding all these great places that you guys can go to such as you guys want to get the habit burger grill great spot to go i love going there and getting my southwest uh, uh southwest um salad barbecue salad it's it's amazing they have this little sushi spot you know for the military guys front wave credit union i believe that that was a, a marine credit union it used to be pacific marine now it's front wave and accelerated urgent care so these urgent cares started to pop up during the covid pandemic a lot more but that's a really neat thing that you do have an urgent care right here in an available uh space where you guys don't have to travel very very far to get to places and so i personally again i love it there's there's a whole bunch of stuff in this general area that you guys can do and shop to really your everyday needs and wants but not just here. What I do love about Wildemar as well is 
its location, its location in between. You got up north, Lake Elsinore. Check out my Lake Elsinore vlog. Down south, literally right across the 15, you guys have Marietta. So that's a really cool thing is that you're surrounded by these two cool cities that have a lot to offer. So even if you do get a little tired of Wildemar, you know, you wanna branch out, hey, you take a 10 minute drive south, you guys can be in Marietta. 10 minute drive north, you guys in Lake Elsinore, where you guys can go do a bunch of things. You can go skydiving in Lake Elsinore. You can go to Mulligans in Marietta. You guys can go mini golfing. You guys can go golfing in general. You guys can go to Amazon Fresh or Costco to shop. Literally, there's, there's so much to do in maybe a 15 mile radius of Wildemar that it's really unbelievable. So I, I firmly believe the location of Wildemar is just so great because of that aspect of where it's at. If you guys really wanna have some fun too, you can go down to Temecula. You guys get on some hot air balloon rides, go to the wineries, enjoy your day. But at any rate, you guys, like I stated, what we're gonna do now, let's go onto the first home. Like I said, I'm gonna show you guys some different homes in different price points and in different neighborhoods so you guys can kind of gauge what may, what may fall within your guys' budget. So stay tuned, because we're gonna get after it right now. All right, guys, so here we are. We're pulling up to the first property. When I say pulling up, I mean walking up. So we are here at the first community, the first property. So this community here does not have HOA. Uh, there's nothing like too crazy about it. As you guys can see, you're gonna see in the second and third property, the, the lawns here are not as aesthetically pleasing because they're not regulated, which is perfectly fine though. And so I do wanna point out some things about this area and this community. It is right off the I-15 highway. So where I just showed you guys, where I came from the intro, you guys, we're a little bit down south of Wildemar. Here, you're kind of middle of Wildemar, which is really neat, really neat because if you guys wanted to head to your grocery stores, like Walmart, you can go 10 minutes up the road, get in Lake Elsinore, 10 minutes down the road, and get to Marietta. So that's a cool thing, right? So that you're in the middle of all these things. Now, this house right behind me that you guys see is currently a little bit under construction they're painting the inside of the house and some of the outside is currently listed for sale for four hundred and sixty thousand dollars it is a three bedroom two baths it does have only 960 square feet so yes it is a little bit of a smaller home now this house was built in 1990 so this community is a little older in general and so that right there you guys is what 460 can get you here in Wildemar, california you can get some similar properties in different communities like the next one I'm about to show you as well. Now, I do wanna bring up the schools. The schools in this community, we have the elementary that's rated a five out of 10. We have the middle school that's rated a four out of 10 and the high school that's rated a five out of 10. So you'll notice a trend throughout this video that all the schools are about average here in Wildemar. There are some that are above average. And so that's just something for you guys to know but that right there, you guys, is what $460,000 can get you in Wildemar, California, onto the second home. All right, you guys, so here we are. We're at the second property. So we are in the farm community in Wildemar, California. I absolutely love this community. This community hosts three different community pools, orchards, walking trails. It has uh little parks it has community events it's really really cool so here we are we have the property right behind me it's currently listed for sale for five hundred and sixty thousand dollars it's a four bedroom two baths it does host 1997 square feet it was built in 2005. now this community does have an hoa of 72 dollars a month so a very low hoa for what it has to offer with the three pools, with the orchards here, with the walking trail, all the community uh, activities and events that they host here. I, I absolutely love the farm here in Wildemar. And it is conveniently located between the I-15 and the two I-15 highways. So that's a really cool thing as well. And I mean, you guys can check these houses, you know, being a 2005, they're still very aesthetically pleasing. And I mean, this house right here is a beauty as well. Amazing grass. One thing I do love about all these homes is they have these street lamps that just add that that more of a appeal to the home. Kind of adds, um, I guess, like a traditional sense of like old school vibe. And and 
I love it. It's just a really neat feature to have in all these homes. I personally wish my home had that, but it doesn't. But at any rate, you guys, again, this is just a great community, great house for the price and a very low HOA for everything that they do give. Now let's talk about the schools. The schools here, we have the elementary that's rated a four out of 10, and you have the middle school that's rated a five out of 10, and the high school is rated a five out of 10. So all pretty much average schools here in this community as well, just like the first one. And I'm, I'm gonna get you guys to the third one. But again, that's what this community, the farm here has to offer. And that's right there, which you can get in Wildemar for $560,000. So let's finish off to the last one. All right, you guys, so here we are. We made it to the third property of the day. So this property right behind me is currently listed for sale for $640,000. It is a five bedroom, three baths. It does have 2,844 square feet. This house was also built in 2006. So it is fairly newer. That's pretty cool, right? Fairly newer home. Now this neighborhood here, does have HOA of $48 a month. So not too bad. Now I personally, I love this last home because of where we started this video, you guys. It's only about half a mile from the shops at Clinton Keith, where I introduced you guys to Wildemar, California. So that's really cool is you're probably maybe a seven minute drive from the shops at Clinton Keith compared to the first two homes where you're a little bit more inland and you're a little bit more north, which is not a bad thing either. It's just, you're that close to the shops at Clint Keith where you don't have to go far for all the shopping needs that you guys want. So again, really cool. It does border the, uh, the, the city of Marietta down here because in the south side of Wildemar, it does border it. Now, another cool aspect about this location of this house is there is a park maybe 200 feet right this direction that I'm trying to take you guys to. So it's a little playground park, nothing too fancy. It's a little small place for the community where you guys can bring the kids or the dogs and have a great little time. Now I do want to bring up the schools in this area. So the schools here in this area, straight fives all across the board. So you have the elementary school that's rated a five out of 10. The middle school that's also rated a five out of 10 and the high school that's rated a five out of 10. So again, all fives across the board. Now this, again, like I mentioned, just a very aesthetically pleasing neighborhood. So like I say in all my videos, HOA, you know, has a pros, has a cons. In this case, this neighborhood is really well taken care of. It is newer, so I understand, but I mean, you guys pay attention to everyone's houses. Their grass is so green, it's so aesthetically pleasing. The landscape's all taken care of for you guys. The streets are clean, the sidewalks are, are clean. Like it's just a really great neighborhood. So that's a really great thing about this area here in this community and this house in general, right? So that right there, you guys, is what? $640,000 can get you in Wildemar, California. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna head back to the office and I'm gonna share with you guys a little market recap of all the homes that we saw today so we can finish this off at a good note. One final thing, brought you guys to the park. So that's a little park that I'm talking about that they do have here, which is really cool. So see you guys at the office. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So this is the market recap time. Again, that is what $460,000, 500 and you know, roughly 400, 540K and 600 and 50 to 70k can get you in Wildemar, California. So as you guys notice, again, the schools are all about average. The communities are pretty great. I know that you guys saw the shops at Clinton Keith and everything that had to offer. There is a little bit more out there that you guys can go to and go shop around to. Again, location is great just because you're in between Lake Elsinore and Marietta, California, where you can go 10 minutes up and you guys are at the Walmart and Target and you know the lows of Lake Elsinore, you guys go 10 minutes south, the same exact thing. You guys are at the Walmart there, the Target and all the shopping centers that they have to offer. Or if you really wanted to, you can drive inland through Clinton Keith all the way to the 215 highway and go to the Costco if you guys really wanted to, or go to the Costco in Lake Elsinore. So you guys have a variety of options within Wildemar, California. Again, within that 15 mile radius, you guys have so much to do 
whether it's entertainment, foods and services, or just going to your local restaurant, local brewery, whatever the case may be. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching Living in South California. Thank you.